That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? There's a sport called uh, beat, uh, beat baseball. Yes. Tell us about that. Um. So I've been playing beat baseball. So I began when I was a little kid. Like I said, my mom and my dad got me into a lot of, of activities. So beat baseball was one of them. But I took a break, a long break, <laughs> and I so I started back playing in 2014, and um, I started with the team in Atlanta because that's where I lived. Um, but now. When I got with my boyfriend, he's from Texas, so it didn't make, well, and then the Atlanta team kind of disbanded. So it didn't make sense for me to not be on his team because, I mean, yeah, I don't know. That's but, your man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be there supporting him anyway, so I might as well play. So I play for the San Antonio Jets, and we um, we are number two in the con in the country right now. Oh wow! Yeah. Well, for those who don't know, because I'm going to get some clips. Tell us about uh, beat baseball. How does it play? Just briefly, if you may. So, um, beat baseball. There's a beeping ball, and there are buzzing bases. And so, um, the pitcher and the catcher are on your team, not against you. And so, there's a cadence that you follow. And when the pitcher, like our pitcher, goes set ready ball maybe not that slow but those are the words that he uses and when he says ball you have to time it to when you need to swing and you mean it's like it's a lot of listening so once you hit the ball um you run to the base the bases are 100 feet um away from the, the plate so if you make it to the base before the ball is caught it's a run but if you don't, it's an out. And the people in the field that are getting you out, there's six people out there and there's a a um, shortstop, a midfielder, and an outfielder. Mm -hmm. And their job is to defend the ball before you make it to the base. And they do that by listening and everybody has a blindfold on. So it's a equal level play. Now, as far as them, you hitting the ball, if a totally blind person plays it, how do they pitch them the ball? How, where, how do they? How do they? How are they able to hit the ball? Yeah, the pitcher is going to is going to pitch the ball to you. Um, it takes practice. Like, I my boyfriend has been playing since two thousand eight, so he's like been on all star teams. He's like one of our starters. He's pretty good. So it's kind of like he's had that time to like finesse his skill. Mm -hmm. I um I wasn't really like that big of a player because. I mean, honestly, at the, at the time, I wasn't taking it seriously. And then I had babies. And now that I'm, like, starting back up this year, like, it's going to take me a little bit more time to actually, like, get my skills down like I want them to be. Mm. But it, it definitely takes a lot of practice. We practice um, basically from April to about July. And then at the end of July, there's a World Series that we go to. And it kind of switches states every year. This year, it's going to be in Wichita, Kansas. Okay, so let me uh, again. If, if, if a person like myself who's totally blind uh, plays or is playing beatball, there's no T or anything like that. There's a person uh, who's a pitcher actually mm -hmm. pitches me the ball. Mm -hmm. oh my yeah, God. and you'll know in the swing because you have to learn his cadence. But the ball is also going to beep, so it's going to go beep, 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 beep. So it beeps. So that's how you'll oh. know. Yeah. <laughs> how fast are the are, are the pitches coming? Um, it depends on the pitcher. Our pitcher, um, it's a pretty, uh, he doesn't have a fast pitch. It's pretty, uh, you know, steady. Uh, but there are some pitchers who are like set ready ball, like they pitch really fast. So it's kind of like the pitcher and the batter, they kind of have to work together. So the pitcher has to learn the batter's swing. Right. And then the batter has to learn the pitcher's cadence. So is the pitcher um, totally blind as well? No, nope. the pitcher and the catcher are both sighted, and then in the field you also have a spotter, and they're sighted. So, like there's there's different zones within the field. 
um, each team kind of has their own zones. So we have two spotters. We have one on the right, one on the left. And if the ball is coming on the left side, the the spotter who's on the left side is going to call out a number. And it's up to the person who's playing in those zones to find where the ball is coming. Oh, wow. This ought to be interesting. So definitely <laughs> uh, send me some uh, clips of, of that. <laughs> 